Okay, thanks for those calls, Doug, from Sandown and Aintree. You join me here at Kelso for the Scottish Borders. It's a four-mile handicap of a 0 to 130. Number one is Agent Blue, top weight. Second is Let Your Mind. Three, Promotion. Four is Elade Mignana. Five, Fast Boy. Emperor Fountain is six. Flexen, seven. Third, Profit, eight. Dark Knight, nine. Great Mac, ten. No Half is 11. Bright New Dawn is 12. Grenier Moore, 13. 180 is 14. Keki Rosberg, 15. Wild Coco, 16. 17, Ellis Prawn. 18, Ekier. And 19, Comanche. So 19 of them to slog around this course here at Kelso over the four miles. They just start on a bend here. Some of those jockeys probably shouldn't have been so uh, seven or eight wide. So they're straight into the first. And everybody gets over it. So we're going to wait for these to settle down. Pace is fairly pedestrian as we expect. Conditions. So approach the second and a really poor jump actually by the lead. One of the leading early horses there, wide Coco, took a dive at it. And straight into the turn. And let's see how they fade. So at the moment it's Flex and lead in the grey with Great Mac and Wild Coco alongside. And they're a couple of lengths away from Ellis Pong. The inside is Emperor Fountain and another grey no half. The inside of that is third profit and 180. And we've got promotion. The outside of promotion is Dark Knight and Agent Blue in the yellow. And they're followed through by Grainia Moore's Elade Mignana. How wide is Let Your Mind? Wider still is Fast Boy. Up against the front is Comanche and Bright New Dawn. And then just the two at the rear, Ekier and Keki Rosberg. So to the third, small ditch. Oh, we've lost one there. Fast Boy's gone. There's a fall up. That's, we've lost one. So bad luck there. Uh, that's Mr. Robertson's colours. Unfortunate. But up front, it's Great Mac, together with Wild Coco. And they're followed through by Emperor Fountain and Flexum. And there's a couple of links back to Ellis Pawn and 180. They're going to, oh, we've lost one there. 180's gone. Bad luck to Molly Itz. So it's Wild Coco, Great Mac, Emperor, Fountain and Flax. And these four are just a length between them all. And they're going to pass the, pass the grandstand. And there's the winning post. There are a couple of lengths ahead of uh, the first of the chasing packs, which is being led at the moment by third profit. And we've got Ellis Paul in there, Promotion, No Half, Dark Knight and Agent Blue. And there are a further couple of lengths back to Bright New Dawn, Let Your Mind, Grainy Amore, Comanche, Ekier, Zelade Mignana and Keki Rosberg as they went through the fifth. Everybody got over it well. Quite tight this turn here. They're going along the back straight. It's still Emperor Fountain and Wild Coco. They're leading now as Great Mac and Flexen have dropped back into the ch chasing pack. So it's Emperor Fountain and Wild Coco. Leads them into the six. The plain one. Everybody gets over it. Reasonable jumps from everybody. Well, they're fairly well strung out now. We've only had uh, six fences. We've a long way to go. Just under the two and a half miles. And it's Wild Coco, Great Mac and Emperor Fountain and Flex and the Great. They will take that. The one that didn't jump it at all well was Emperor Fountain through the top. But we're being led by Mr. Clutterbuck Horse, Great Mac from Wild Coco and Flexum. And there's Emperor Fountain on his own. And then the chasing pack just being led at the moment by Dark Knight and Third Prophet on the inside. Uh, Liz Prawn is still there. Promotion having a very good run. Agent Blue. And then the Grey No Half nearest to us. So they take the ninth. Everybody's over that as well. Just at the rear at the moment, Azelade, Menyana, Ekier, and Keki Rosberg. And they bowl along and approach the tenth. Everybody's over. Oh, and we've lost one there. Didn't get over it well. It was Ekier for Alex Cherry. Bad luck. Take this next left turn, which will lead him into the home straight. What a bendy course, Newcastle. Oh, Kelso, sorry. <laughs> Forget where I am. I didn't have far to come. From Newcastle to Kelso, just across the borders. And funny enough, for the Scottish Borders National. 
So up front is Great Mac and Wild Coco. Been there since the beginning. Then we've got Flexen and Emperor Fountain. And there are a couple of lengths from Third Prophet. We take the 11th. Another small ditch. Everybody pings over it. We'll, uh, approach the furlong pole there. Which will be next time round. This will be the final run into the... That will be the last next time round, the 12th. Which they're all over it. Although the rear Zelade Menyan is not having much fun. And uh, I imagine that may well... Uh, Jockey might well pull that one up shortly. But it's still Great Mac, Wild Coco, Emperor Fountain, and Flexum. These four have flip flopped most of the weight. There's the winning post. And then we've got a circuit to go. Right, it's Great Mac still. Happily bowling along, leading them. They've tightened up a little bit here. We've lost Ekier. Ekier's been pulled up. I actually thought Ekier was a was a faller. According to the card. But still up front. It's Wild Coco, Emperor Fountain. Great Mac having a little rest now and dropped back. Third Prophet's just on his outside. Flexen's still running well. Ellis Paul just stalking along, covered up. We've got the grey no half. And then a couple of lengths from Dark Knight. And we have lost Zelade Menyana. Wasn't the kiss of stew. I think anyone could see that one's going to get pulled up. But it's Emperor Fountain and Wild Coco still leading. As they take the 15th. Everybody gets over it. There's probably 20 lengths between first and last. Uh, we've got a clear leader at the moment. Just by a length is Emperor Fountain. They go into the 16th. Gets over it well. Extends his lead by probably two now. To Wild Coco in second. Flexing the grey. Is third, third profit four, Great Mac is five, then we've got Ellis Paul, no half, and Dark Knight making up some ground. The one also is promotion, not said mentioned him much. Agent Blue, the top weight. Then we've got Bright New Dawn, Comanche in the white silks, not had much of a mention. Then we've got Let Your Mind, Keki Rosberg, and Grainy Amore just at the rear. But back up front is Emperor Fountain that takes them over the 17th. Everybody's over it. Emperor Fountain just by half a length now to flex them. And we've got Wild Coco, been there since the beginning, moving well. Well, on the outside now is no half the grey. And the inside of that is third profit. And then we've got Bright New Door making up some good ground now. His promotion, but got himself a little bit blocked in. But it's all change up the front. It's flexing that now leads just by a nose. Going to be challenged now by no half. Out wide on the outside is Bright New Dawn being followed through by promotion. While Coco's got nowhere to go, he's going to have to go wide. But up front, it's Bright New Dawn. Four and a half furlongs left to run with a couple to jump. It's Bright New Dawn that leads now from no half. Promotion's doing well on his outside. The two that are going back with now Emperor Fountain and Flexen. Nothing else out of the pack at the moment, but it's Bright New Dawn leads by a couple of lengths. Here comes promotion. No half is plugging on well, but it's still Bright New Dawn. Three and a half inside the three and a half furlongs. Bright New Dawn from promotion. These two a neck and neck now. So it's John Morgan and Paul Rhodes. Leads them into the 19th. They both get over it. Promotion was better. We're only going to have one left to jump now. Two and a half furlongs to travel. And Promotion is starting to pull away here. Promotion leading by a couple of lengths from Bright New Dawn. No half going back. Was out of the pack. Comes third. Profit making a chase as is Dark Knight. Let your mind. Keki Rosberg. But they're not going to win from there. There's a furlong and a half left to run. Promotion takes him into the 20th, gets over it well. Oh, we've lost one there. Keki Rosberg went, but it's promotion that leads him inside the final furlong now. Starting to pull away. Jockey having a little bit of rest. Leads by five to six. Hard chasing third profit and bright new dawn are probably going to take second and third. Flexen has plugged on well and may well take fourth. And also the top weight, Agent Blue, may well get up for some money here in fifth, but it's promotion that takes it. By a good few lengths to third profit in second. I'll wait for the card to come up, but I'm pretty sure it's a Paul Rhodes horse. So Paul Rhodes takes the Scottish Bulldies National with promotion. Second was third profit from Joshua Sutherland. Third was Bright New Dawn for Daniel French. I got that wrong. Fourth was Flexen for Thunderspark. And fifth was Agent Blue for Obi-Wan.